In this video, we'll walk through the features of the Pro Tabs element. This element is fully nestable. By default, we have two tab items and two content items. We can duplicate these to create more tabs. Let's look at the settings. By default, the tabs will move into an accordion layout for mobile. Here each content item has its own accordion toggle, which is also nestable and can be fully customized. Everything can be styled visually at the different breakpoints. Let's look at some style options. These tab items will take up the width of the text or we can choose to set a width. We can add flex grow to make the tabs take up the full available space. We can easily align the content inside the tabs and also align the tabs themselves inside of the list. Styling the tabs here will apply to all tabs. Here we can style all the tab content areas. These styles are all inherited to the accordion layout. Let's view on the front. We can change some behaviors. Allow hovering to select the tabs. We can choose to be able to tap across to unselected tabs. And we have an adaptive height. Let's change the height of this second tab. By default, there is no transition between the heights. Adaptive height adds a smoother transition. There are two types of animations built in. One for the tabs, and one for the content area. We can animate the selected tab. and we can fade in the content. We can also fade in from different directions and set the transform distance.
If we want to instead fade in individual elements, it's fully compatible with Brick's interactions. Choose the Enter Viewport option to ensure it's triggered when the tab is selected. The accordion layout can be activated at any breakpoint. We can override these previous styles to style this separately. We can fully customize the accordion toggle and add in any new elements. If wishing to populate with dynamic data, we can use query loops on these items. We just need one item with a query loop enabled. And then use dynamic tags to get the data. The same with the tab content. We can add the data to the accordion toggle within the same loop. The Pro Tabs element is fully keyboard accessible. Let's just add in an interactive element to show the example. We can tab across to the current active tab. The left and right keys will select different tabs. And we can tab directly across into the content area. The same for the mobile accordion. If you prefer for allowing the user to tab across to unselected tabs, this can be enabled. Now the tab key will move across the list of tabs. And space or enter to select. The last setting to look at is the hash linking. Here the tabs can be selected by linking to the relevant tab panel ID. In this case of using query loops, these panels won't have IDs. Instead we can add a custom ID onto the tabs element. Linking to my tabs 3 will then open up at the third tab. And there we have the Pro Tabs element for bricks.